back about 10 minutes after <laughs> 7. And uh, I think on the 4th, they have a contemporary one, right? Uh -huh. Where they use a, a visual a screen. screen. Yeah. And I uh, thought that would be good to take them. And uh, so that St. Mark's up the road. You should know this, that St. Mark's is uh, the one that gives the most to keep the rock running as far as gifts. We're going to talk about two things that are separate from each other, but they go together. That's kind of a riddle. They're separate from each other, but they go together. It's kind of like the food you're about to eat, and then also the prayer that we have at a meal. On the one hand, they're separate because the food you're about to eat is for your body. The prayer that we have comes from our hearts of faith, which is talking spiritual and eternal stuff. And so, yes, in that way they're separate, but they're also connected because God has given us the food and we want to thank Him. What we'll be talking about at talk time uh, would be the law and the gospel. And you can see how they're separate, but they're together. All right, so with the togetherness of food and prayer, we pray. All right, respect the moment. Dear Lord God, thank you so much for the food we're about to enjoy, for the ladies that are serving it, for the people that have donated it. Thank you also for opening the hearts of so many to give uh, so generously so that The Rock has been going for 14 years. We thank you for all of the blessings that you poured out on The Rock, all the teens that I've come to know over these years and are now friends with. Friends not only for this life, but, but also friends for eternity, as we'll have a happy reunion in heaven. Help us to remember that that only happens through Jesus, who died for us, as he paid for our sins on the cross with his blood. Lead us now, dear Lord, out of love for you, to give thanks for you to you every day as we show it in our lives. And today we give thanks also as we gather together here, thanking you for the food and asking you to be our guest. We pray. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, and let these gifts to us be blessed. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Amen. Amen. ...than the rest of these, Santana and Kyle and whatever, uh, and Eric, the reason why I have them underlined is because they've been going longer than the uh, ones not underlined. Don't forget, you have to... Dale, we need to show you pizzas, though. What? Yeah. What about jo you have to do Jordan. And mm -hmm. Right, and the ones without a little star, uh, that means I got to go through the list of responsibilities with them. You went through it, you went through it with Caitlin. Uh, you can put it, yes, go ahead and put a thing there then. And today I went through it. No, no, don't put it underline. Underline means that they're close to being promoted. No, I'll go put them up there and put a star next to it just so it's not all done. Oh, okay. All right, you can do that. Maybe after Santana. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Um, let me see. Who did I go through? The, and I went through with Santana. Put a star with Santana. I mm -hmm. tonight, tonight. So he should get a star too. <coughs> okay, that's good. What's the other Jordan? There's two Jordans. What's the other Jordan? Uh. Well, one's Jordan Vega, and the other is Jordan, who's a, who lives at a, I don't remember his last name, I think it's Nelson. He's mm -hmm. at a foster home where with um, Ray. Oh, that's It's right. Ray, Jordan, Tadario. And uh, Jaden, right? Yeah. Those four all are in one of Pastor Hall. And a star in Pastor Hall. Who? Nick. My cousin. Oh, yeah, Nick, too. Okay, so now um, you can go down again. Bible study, you're all welcome to go along with Amanda to Bible study at St. Mark's. Um, and why don't we pass by that one and come back to that one, and then we'll have that one on Facebook. Are you <laughs> tomorrow? Tomorrow, 4.15 to 5.15, we will right. have uh, our fun free activity. Next one is Saturday. Come to church with me. We'd love to have you from 5.50 to 7.10 uh, at St. Mark's up the road. Rock will close. Uh, just so you know, this Saturday is also the business trick-or-treating. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the businesses will have trick-or-treating going on for a while. And some That's, kids will be going. I think trick-or-treating with the businesses is before we even open. Yeah. But I'm just saying, sometimes kids. Is trick or treating that oh, night? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Is trick or treating that night? It's Sunday. Trick or treating is Sunday. Okay. No, it's Saturday. No, no that's Sunday. Sunday. That's and Saturday. the real trick or treating Sunday. Right. Okay. 
All right, uh, the rock is open, like I said, Tuesday, 3.39. Could you go to the top one and just delete that one that says the rock is open? Uh, Tuesday, yeah. Uh, no, just take away the rock is open on there, but leave happy birthday. We're going to have to uh, get rid of Tuesday, too. Just get rid of it. Uh, just get rid of two, the rock is open Tuesday, but leave happy birthday there because i got to put November birthdays down. Okay, that's good. Quick push save. And then go way down to the one with Bio. Amanda. I know. Oh, yeah. It's all right. It'll, it'll uh, ask you to kill safely. somebody out of just to kill them, not uh, because it's uh, uh, capital punishment or anything like that. Uh, that would be, you'd say, no, I can't do that. But we are to respect the law, and like we're to do the speed limit and so on and so forth. And God says to respect and obey the law. So when we break the law of the government, we actually sin against God, too. You got another one? No, no, I was going to ask, isn't it still considered a sin, even if you're telling, like, someone, just because you're mad to go to hell, isn't it still a sin? That you what? To tell someone to go to hell just because uh, you're mad and... Absolutely. That is asking God to send somebody to hell, and we never want to do that. We want them saved through Jesus, their Savior. So that would be a sin, absolutely, to just say, go to hell to somebody, absolutely. Uh, now... I just have made the point again and again that each sin, even if you could keep all of God's law and break it only in one little point, you'd still be deserving of hell. And I would be deserving of hell. And I am, and you are deserving of hell. Because it said in the Bible passage, go up again, it said what? It said, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The glory of God is how perfect. Perfect. What? Crystal perfect. Crystal perfect. I like that. Crystal perfect. The glory of God, right? The glory of God and, is like, it's and, really like, no. It's perfect. It's perfect. God says you've got to reach this. Where have we gone to? Oh. With, with how good we are. Meh. How good are we? God says be perfect. God I, says be I, perfect. I, I, I wish I was here. But we're not, right? We are down here. Yeah. In fact, we are sinful by nature and we sin every day and we deserve God's judgment. That is important to know that because here's the good news because then you really, really appreciate no guilt for before God. You should be and I should be but we're no longer guilty because it's free by God's grace through Jesus, through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Wow. That's good gospel, right? Doesn't that make you relieved? Because it, it makes me relieved. Because if I only had the law that would show me my sin, I would be so afraid to die. But because of the gospel, I'm not afraid moment. to die now. Dear Lord God, thank you for teaching us today about law and gospel and help us to keep them right as far as the proper distinction between law and gospel, that they are separate, but yet they are connected. They are separate in that the law shows us our sin, the gospel shows us our Savior. They are connected in that the law shows us how much we need a Savior, and the gospel shows us that wonderful Savior in Jesus. Help us, dear Lord, to keep them right so that we don't think that we can earn salvation. That would be putting them together where they shouldn't be. We could not earn eternal life. It only comes through Christ because we are imperfect and sinful by nature. Help us then to appreciate what Christ has done for us with his perfect life lived for us and his perfect death died for us so that every day we reflect our love for you in how we try to keep your commandments. In the name of Jesus the Savior we pray. Amen. Okay. Alright, here's a song. Mm -hmm.
Yeah.